हेलो गाइज वेलकम टू माई चैनल प्रेस द सब्सक्राइब बटन लाइक दिस एंड देन यू हैव टू टैप द बेल आइकन एट दिस इन टू द सब्सक्राइब बटन लाइक दिस एंड देन यू विल गेट द नोटिफिकेशन फ्रॉम माई चैनल हेलो गाइज वेलकम टू माई चैनल इन दिस वीडियो आई एक्सप्लेनिंग यू द वर्किंग ऑफ पेट्रोल इंजन इन द मोस्ट सिंप्लीफाइड वे एज पॉसिबल एंड फर्स्ट यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट दिस I have shown you a cylinder. This is one cylinder that I have drawn. But in any engine, when we say any engine of an automobile or any machinery, there are many cylinders that are connected in various possible configurations, like V configuration, radial configuration, and so on. So the minimum number of cylinders in an automobile engine that are minimum that are two, but most commonly. there are four four cylinders that are used and you have heard v6 engines that are more powerful because v is the configuration that one cylinder is like this other cylinder is like this so it is making a v figure so it is said to be v v configuration and six are the number of cylinders that are connected in parallel so just this is this is a myth buster that students they generally confuse that there is only one cylinder in an engine when we talk of any engine there can be many cylinders but for simplification and making you understand the authors of the books and i also am taking only one cylinder just to make you explain all right so this is the piston this is the piston this is the main cylinder body this this is the spark plug and these are this is the exhaust valve this is the intake valve now in petrol engine there is a spark plug a spark plug a spark plug <coughs> it supplies very huge amount of spark or electricity in a very short time and uh, this sparking it ignites the mixture now we go step by step the working of petrol engine first step is the intake stroke intake now intake stroke means the mixture now here you should also remember that in petrol engine there is a device known as carburetor carburetor is a device in which the fuel that is the petrol plus air this is the petrol and here it is air so this mixture that how much amount of air is is there or how how much amount of petrol is there there will be some uh, ratio that is you can say air fuel ratio or fuel air, air ratio air fuel ratio generally we say air fuel ratio as 14 is to 1 or 16 is to 1 like this this is the air fuel ratio that means 14 part is air one part is fuel so that mixture air fuel ratio it is made in the carburetor and when this piston this is the first stroke intake stroke and this is connected to the crank where the connecting rod this is the connecting rod this is the connecting rod this and this is the crank so when the crank rotates clockwise so this piston will move downwards in the first stroke when it will move downward when this piston it will come to this position at the bottom dead center here it will come here so what will happen this huge amount of vacuum will be created because here the piston has displaced air and here the vacuum will be created so this intake valve will open when this intake valve will open so the air fuel ratio from the carburetor it will travel in the cylinder all right now second stroke or the second step you can say it is the compression stroke a compression means compression means compress to compress something compression means the piston from this position it will travel upwards when it will travel upwards it will compress the already present air fuel ratio already present air fuel mixture here 
that was obtained from the first step it will try to compress it when it will try to compress it so it will increase the pressure as well as temperature of the mixture it will enhance all right now third step is third step is a power stroke power stroke now power stroke at the end of this compression stroke that means the piston is near to the top dead center like this in this position now piston comes here from here to here so that position we supply huge amount of electric charge through the spark plug at that position the combustion that is the ignition will start ignition means the initial burning of the air fuel mixture because of the energy here the air fuel mixture was already compressed to high pressure and temperature and so when we supply initial amount of energy by spark plug so this mixture will burn start ignition and it will burn when this will burn so huge amount of explosion or the gas gases present here will try to expand so they will try to push back this piston to farthest position the farthest position will be this bdc that is the bottom dead center here again this piston will come here so this will be the power stroke and here we will get the power that is the maximum now this stroke will be the fastest initially this stroke is slow intake compression it is again slow but the power stroke is very rapid all right this piston comes here fourth stroke it is the exhaust stroke now what is exhaust stroke exhaust means the wastage or the burnt gases that are present in the cylinder so we have to remove them before beforehand now we have to remove them before the next cycle would begin because why we need to remove the exhaust gases because when the fresh fresh charge enters so these exhaust gases will try to dilute and will pollute the mixture of the air fuel or the air petrol mixture they will try to pollute these exhaust gases so we have to remove these exhaust gases so again the piston will travel from here to the top dead center and this exhaust valve will open and the gases will leave out from this position so i am repeating once again in very slow steps that first is intake stroke intake stroke means the piston was here piston was here now intake stroke means this piston will move downwards up till here this is the bottom dead center this point is bottom dead center and this point is the top dead center tdc so this piston will travel from here to here in the first stroke intake stroke the air petrol mixture will enter from the carburetor through the intake valve now air petrol mixture is here second stroke is compression stroke again the piston moves from bottom dead center to top dead center this position is the move now when this happens so the charge that was present in overall it has now accumulated here in this much space so its volume is very less so pressure will be very high and correspondingly temperature will be very high third at the end of compression stroke remember at the end of the compression stroke we supply huge amount of energy using the spark plug a spark plug will ignite this mixture so combustion will start when the combustion will start the gases that are formed after the combustion process they will try to escape but they cannot escape so they will push back the piston downwards so this piston again comes from tdc to bdc and we get the power stroke and this is the fastest stroke among these four all right it will come out rapidly the piston will move from tdc to bdc very rapidly then last stroke is exhaust stroke now the burnt gases they have to be removed before before and um, uh, before the next cycle could begin 
so these gases that are burnt here they will be removed when the piston again travels from BDC to TDC the piston will push these gases and through the exhaust valve when the exhaust valve opens so the gases will be removed so we get the total cycle of the petrol engine intake compression power stroke and exhaust stroke so this was the most simplified way I could explain you that how the working of the petrol engine is occurring play, taking place and uh, I hope you have found the video helpful if you found the video helpful please press the like button please share my video on social media and please subscribe my channel by pressing the red subscribe button below do check the description once for more of my videos and social media links and till next time take care bye bye